Before we start the video, let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I'm Chandresh Mahajan, who is founder and chief educator at Exergic, which is India's most trusted and comprehensive institute for online gate preparation. I got an All India Rank 37 from Gate Mechanical Engineering and I am an ex-Indian Oil Officer, having 6 plus years of teaching experience as of now. To know more about our Gate courses, you can contact us on these details. Also, you can download Exergic Gate Preparation app from Google Play Store. The link is available in the description of video. Now, let us solve one very interesting and very beautiful question. This is such a question where many students, many aspirants will do mistake if they don't know about this funda already. And uh, while solving it, firstly I will show you that what mistake aspirants make, the incorrect approach to solve this problem. And then I will show you the correct approach with the proper concept and reasoning. The question says that a pulley of mass moment of inertia 1.6 multiplied by 10 s to the power minus 4 kg meter square. A pulley is there, mass moment of inertia is given, has a radius of 2 cm. Its radius is also given, mass moment of inertia is also given. And radius is very small, 2 cm radius, very small pulley. But masses also are very small as you will see further. So it is a feasible situation. A 0.4 kg block is attached to one side of pulley and 0.2 kg block on the other side. You can see that there are two blocks A and B. A is 0.4 kg, B is 0.2 kg, both on the other sides. Neglect the effect of friction. If the system is released from rest, so initially it is at rest okay, and it was released from rest. Basically masses, these two masses A and B, initially you were holding them. You were not allowing free movement but you released them and the system will move from rest to the motion state. So if the system is released from rest, the speed of 0.4 kg block, the speed of block A, after it has moved 0.5 meter below is how much? Data is given, it is asking you the speed of block A when it has moved 0.5 meter below. Below is very logical to say because out of A and B, A is heavier. So A will go down, B will go up. So basically by saying 0.5 meter below means when it has moved by 0.5 meter. Initially both of them were rest, were at rest. You can assume that both of them were at the same level. Although diagram is slightly uh, not showing it. But assume that both of them are at the same level initially. That is how the diagram is to be drawn. Slight uh, misalignment is there in the diagram. Anyway, so this is the question in front of you. One more small thing to notice here. As I keep telling you, the value of G Question has not given it, but diagram has mentioned it. G is equal to 10 meter per second square. Don't take 9.8 or 9.81. Your answer can uh, move out of the given range. So be careful about these things as I keep telling you again and again. Now let me tell you what many aspirants will do. do the incorrect approach. They will draw the free body diagrams of A and B, which is very much fine. And they will assume that since the rope, this rope, this string is same throughout, they will assume that the tension will remain same because that is what we know. And if string is same, tension is going to be same, right? So they will assume that here also for this block A, tension is T, for B also tension is T. And then what they will do? I am right now telling you what many aspirants will do, which is incorrect. What they will do, they will draw the free body diagram, tension T, weight is acting in the downward direction mg and A is accelerating down with an acceleration of A. Using this, they will write one equation, T and A are unknown. Similarly, for B, they will write another equation, tension is obviously up, weight is down, 
let's say m1 a and or m a g m b g in this case acceleration will be upward and same acceleration will exist i have already told you that how to find out and relate accelerations not talking much about it here but as block a will move whatever distance a moves with whatever velocity in whatever time same will be the movement of b this can be proved mathematically but right now let us not get into that so acceleration of b will also be equal to a but in the upward direction and what you will do you will write equation for this t sorry mg minus t is equal to m a a is acceleration here m a and for this t minus m b g is equal to m b multiplied by a these two equations you will write t and a are unknown you will solve them you will find the value of t and a and then you will uh, you know proceed with the question but this is incorrect this will give you incorrect answer now let me tell you what is the correct way and why this is going to be incorrect okay focus on the pulley what is different in this question in this question pulley has a mass moment of inertia or pulley has a mass right generally such questions when you solve pulley is massless pulley doesn't have mass but if question gives you the mass of pulley or mass moment of inertia of the pulley question the approach for the question will change let me tell you why and how this is the pulley right what you assumed currently that tension is t in both the strings so for the pulley tension is going in this direction on the right side and on this direction on the left side both of them are t this is the center of the pulley it has some mass right currently it has some mass mass moment of inertia is also there and it is not at rest the pulley is not at static equilibrium very important for this case because if pulley was at static equilibrium then what you did can work the first approach that i told you can work but this is not the case here obviously pulley is moving initially it was at rest everything in the system was at rest you release the block a will go down b will go up and pulley will start rotating like this clockwise it will rotate because this side is going down so this pulley will try to move like this this side will go up right so in this direction it will be having an angular acceleration for this case i is present mass moment of inertia is present it is not zero generally it was zero when it was given massless m was zero so mass moment of inertia mk square will also become zero but here i is given alpha will also exist it is getting accelerated initially the system was at rest it was released from rest right so alpha is also not zero i is also not zero so why their product will be zero their product will also exist net torque will also exist on this pulley but since you assumed both the tensions to be t net torque cannot exist because both of these this rope and this rope are at a distance of radius from the pulley and in the opposite direction this torque is clockwise tr this torque is counterclockwise tr net torque is zero if you are considering both of them to be t friction's effect has to be ignored so you cannot say that sir these are cancelling but friction will be present that will you know cause a net torque question has given you to ignore the effect of friction so what does it tell you what option do you have both of them cannot be same if both of them are same because they have to act tension have to act tension will be there in both the strings but tension will be unequal only then a net torque can exist right or not right now clockwise moment of t is getting cancelled by counter clockwise moment of t about the center but if this is t1 this is t2 that will not cancel now net torque in the direction of acceleration will be t1 r minus t2 r t1 r 
clockwise along the direction of alpha t to r counter clockwise opposing the alpha this is your net torque now which is not zero because t1 and t2 are not equal this is something which you need to understand in this question which is different from the questions that you have been solving where it was given massless so you just remember that string is same so tension will be same throughout but in such questions things change and whenever not only in this subject this is a question from mechanics we will discuss about the mass of the pulley in vibrations as well vibration will be a separate study theory of machines in theory of machines we cover it so there also you will notice that mass of the pulley when it is given things change slightly so whenever in general make it a habit that whenever you see a pulley try to go through the question carefully and see whether the mass of the pulley is given or not whether the mass moment of inertia of the pulley is given or not or whether the pulley is given massless or not in simple language if mass is given things will change be careful if it is massless then the general way of how we solve it can be used okay so with this in mind that tension t1 and t2 are different let us proceed with the question if we draw the free body diagram of block a then it will be having t1 in the upward direction mag in the downward direction net acceleration down similarly for b now it will be t2 in the upward direction mbg in the downward direction and net acceleration in the upward direction and now when we write the equations individually for three of them what can we write for block a mag ma is 0.4 mass multiplied by acceleration sorry g in the downward direction minus t1 in the upward direction is equal to 0.4 multiplied by a right net force in the downward direction is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration net force in the downward direction is weight minus tension this is equation number 1 value of g is given as 10 so you can directly write it as 4 okay similarly for block b what we can write t2 minus 0.2 g this is 0.2 mass g is 10 so you can directly write it as 2 right 0.2 multiplied by g is equal to 0.2 multiplied by a this is net force in the upward direction is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration in the upward direction and for this one what you have to write you have to write the equation for torque net torque so about this center let's say this is the center so about o if you take the summation of moment you can write net torque summation of torque about o will be equal to i multiplied by alpha summation of torque about o will be t1 minus t2 r radius is also given to you in the question is equal to i was also given i think 1.6 multiplied by 10 to r minus 4 multiplied by alpha r is given as 2 centimeter so 2 by 100 we have converted that into meters the value of alpha as such nothing is given to us but since other equations are in the term of a acceleration and we know that a is equal to r alpha so alpha is a by r r is known to us so a divided by r r is already known to us so in this equation also t1 t2 a only these three are unknown r is known to us now look at these three equations three equations three unknown which are the three unknown t1 t2 and a i can solve it but i have told you many ways earlier to solve three equation three variable problems so consider it a small exercise for you try to solve it on your own if you get stuck anywhere discuss with me your doubts and your problem in the premium group so if you solve it this way you will get the value of a as 2 meter per second square this is the value of a but what question asked you 
question asked you that what will be the speed of block A when it has moved down by 0.5 meters and it started from rest. So consider only block A. For block A, initial speed was 0. Final speed you have to tell in meter per second. Acceleration is known and how much distance it is allowed to move when we are trying to find out the velocity that distance is 0 0.5 meter. We can easily apply v square minus u square is equal to 2as. u square will be 0 since u is 0. So v will be equal to root 2as. Right? This is v at the end of 0 0.5 meter. Acceleration is 2. s is 0 0.5. These will get cancelled. Root 2 will be 1.414 meter per second. This is the required velocity of the block as given in the question. So again, this question looked very simple, looked very direct, but it taught you something very interesting and very crucial for your gate.